guys, it's Loey. Today's video is going to be on a drugstore makeup starter kit, and I have all of the products in this little basket right here. I think that this video will be obviously great for beginners who just want to know where to get started with makeup, like maybe they have, you know, a lipstick or a concealer or something, but they want to really branch out and get like a full face of makeup. Um, these are going to be great recommendations, and then also, you know, you might be really experienced with makeup but you might be wondering about some of my favorite drugstore products. So I'm just going to kind of move down the list, and there are definitely things in here that you don't need to start out with. Like, I'm going to be mentioning a face primer, and you don't have to have that starting out. Um, it's just that these, I tried to cover, like, every base. So whatever you're looking for, this is it. Okay, face primer. This obviously is not, you know, necessarily... Um, a must-have in a very, very beginner's collection, but if you were to get one from the drugstore, I really recommend the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Skin Perfecting Primer. You can get this bad boy at Walmart for, I think, right around $6. I will make sure to have linked um, a blog post where you can go and buy all of these things and also, like, prices and everything. I own a lot of primers, like, ones that have cost me, you know, $30, and then this one, which only costs 6 I think. This is always sold out when I go to Walmart, and there's a reason why. It is a silicone-based primer, and if you have issues with acne like I do, sometimes people say that silicone-based products break them out. I've never noticed, like, this one do that with me at all, and I have fairly sensitive skin. It just creates a nice, smooth canvas for you to put on your face products afterwards, and if you are going to get this, I would recommend applying it after your moisturizer, before foundation, and then waiting maybe about 10 or so minutes before you put on any foundation or anything like that, just so it like sinks in and it's nice and um, smooth and not like slick to the touch. I honestly think a phenomenal drugstore like makeup beginner foundation is the Revlon Nearly Naked. I have mine in the color 130 shell and I'm actually wearing it today. I usually wear a more like heavy duty like full coverage foundation but I wanted to show this for you know obviously showing you the product on my face. It comes in a really great glass bottle. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a pump um, and you just obviously pour out what you need on your hand and it is a like more medium to medium full coverage foundation so it's not necessarily if you're like me and you have issues with hyperpigmentation and acne um, it's not going to cover everything but that's not really the purpose of a foundation anyways you don't want something that's going to mask your entire face it's much more natural to start out with a pretty heavy duty concealer like the one i'm going to be showing you next and then actually following up after you apply that with a lighter kind of more um medium coverage foundation tops. This one is great. I think it just gives a really nice finish. You don't have to set it with a primer. I do because I like a nice matte finish, but it is really, really wonderful, and I haven't found a drugstore foundation that I love more than this. My concealer of choice is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I was holding it upside down. I have the color light, which is actually a little bit too light for me, but I obviously put it on before foundation, so when I put my foundation on afterwards, everything blends together. It obviously comes out in just this little dispenser, um, so you don't really get too much product, but you need a very, very minimal amount to cover all of your imperfections. I have scarring along both of my cheeks, um, and then that's really the only places I have major issues. Sometimes I'll have like little breakouts on my forehead, usually like right now I don't have any, um, and then sometimes along my jaw as well because my acne is hormonal, but this covers everything just flawlessly. It makes you look like you just don't have any issues. I also like it because it is hygienic and if you do have breakouts you know like putting a concealer wand on your face and then dipping it back into the product and putting it back on your face can be really really unhygienic. You can just take this, squirt it out on your hand, put it on your face and you know nothing ever gets in there, nothing is ever like contaminated. For concealer I have two here to show you and you really don't need both but I'm going to show you both and then tell you which one I recommend as like your first if you don't want to get both of them. So I recommend getting a salmon tinted concealer. The one that I have here is actually in the brightener shade and I love it because it has somewhat of a pink undertone to it and you can see it comes with one of these little sponge tip applicators on the very end and it's actually an antibacterial sponge tip so it's safe to use on your under eyes over and over again without like getting contaminated. This is phenomenal at canceling out any darkness under there and if you're going to go over it with a powder which I personally really recommend um, just so it doesn't you know crease throughout the day it would be great and it probably wouldn't crease or look abnormal, especially if you powdered the rest of your face. But sometimes it can look kind of just a little bit abnormal maybe if you're just wearing like a normal skin colored um, foundation and then a really bright pink uh, 
whoa, concealer underneath your eyes. So I really recommend following up with a concealer, and the one that I have is Rimmel Match Perfection in 230 Fair Light. And this is a touch lighter than my skin, so it really gives the under eye area like a, you know, an awake, bright look. That is probably my favorite concealer duo of all time, and it just really makes your under eye circles look great. So going into powder, I really don't know how anyone can live without this face powder. It is my personal favorite. It keeps me matte all day, even though I don't typically have oily skin. But I know people with oily skin who say it keeps them matte all day. I know like makeup artists who use this, and it's a like $4, $3 product depending on where you go. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is a godsend. I own like three colors of this at all times just in case, you know, I've been fake tanning or something. Right now I have 003 Natural and it's a great match for my skin right now. I love it because it's not too um, heavy in the coverage, but it does add a touch of additional coverage and it really keeps you matte. It really just blends everything together. It never looks heavy or cakey. I just, this is my favorite powder of all time, really. While we're at it, I don't really think that this is something that, you know, an absolute beginner needs, but if you wanted to have a, like, makeup setting spray just to keep everything locked in place, the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray is phenomenal. All you do is after you've done all of your makeup, but before you do your um, mascara, because sometimes that can smudge, especially if you close your eyes while you're spraying this, which I would recommend. You don't want it getting in your eyes. You just take this bad boy and you... Spray a little bit and you're done. Obviously don't spray it like in front of you, please <laughs> spray it on your face. Um, it just locks everything into place and it keeps you looking fresh a lot longer. Um, again, just not really a necessary step if you're an absolute beginner, but I think if you're taking the next couple steps or if you find you really have trouble making your makeup last all day, this is great. I do not recommend the matte version of this, however. This doesn't necessarily make your skin dewy. It just really, like I said, locks it into place. The matte version actually makes your skin feel tight and it's very uncomfortable. So if you do want a bronzer, I recommend starting out with a matte bronzer with a fairly light hand please and the one that I love is NYC Sunny Bronzer. This is around three dollars at most drugstores. It's just this light tan color and I would recommend if you wanted a bronze look to take a big fluffy powder brush and just kind of dust it all over your face maybe in like a 3E motion which just means you start at your temple you come down kind of towards your cheek and then you go down again down your jaw and then obviously you would do it on the other side. But if you really wanted to sculpt your face, like I usually do with bronzer, you could take an angled brush and just really get into the hollows of your cheeks and under your jaw, um, even your nose. There are some great contouring tutorials on YouTube, and this one is phenomenal because if you do make, you know, like a beginner newbie mistake, it's not too noticeable, but it definitely does add a little bit of oomph fears to your skin. Some people, especially teenagers, don't necessarily like blush, but I personally love it. And if you're going to be starting out, I really recommend the Milani Baked Blushes because they have a bit of shimmer to them, but they're not usually overpowering. And if you had to choose, you know, like one or two colors, I really love Luminoso. This is a nice kind of everyday color. And if you'd like to see swatches of these, I will link below actually an entire video on drugstore blushes um, where I swatch these and I show you, you know, the pigmentation and just quality of them. Rose Dioro is really nice as well, especially for this time of year because it is kind of a deeper, more rosy brick shade. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about highlighter. And I don't really think highlighter is, again, one of those necessary steps like you have to do. I mean, obviously, you don't have to do any of these. But um, if you want to take a little bit of extra, you know, oomph, you want something a little bit special for a night out maybe. I really, really like highlighters for giving yourself a natural lit from within glow. The first one I want to talk about is actually a NYX Illuminator, and this is in the color Narcissistic. Now, Narcissistic is this really beautiful, um, actually it's a MAC Soft and Gentle dupe, I think, and it just gives you a really pretty kind of more golden glow. If you can't get NYX products where you live, I also really recommend an eyeshadow, which I know sounds kind of weird, especially, you know, you're going to be putting it on your face. Maybelline makes one called Champagne Fizz, which is this one right here, and it is phenomenal. I would recommend either taking a stippling brush or even just your, you know, finger and putting it on the tops of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, and also right above or below your eyebrow. So speaking of eyes, I don't personally experiment too terribly much with drugstore eyeshadow just because I feel like I have every eyeshadow known to man in higher end palettes anyways, but one line of eyeshadows that I have found that have just been phenomenal, like every single one that I've tried, has actually been from the dollar store, and this is called, um, well the brand is LA Colors, and unfortunately mine came with like a ripped off 
back. The lady had to like scan a different one for me and everything because there was no barcode. But it has just these really phenomenal eyeshadows. It has, you know, a gold and a copper and a really, really dark brown. And all of these are just so pigmented. This is just a tiny, tiny swatch of that copper shade and look at that. I mean, incredible, incredible pigmentation. I do have a couple others, so if you would like to see a video on like my favorites of this or just like a full review, let me know. Um, but I think that these, for the money, you really can't beat it. And if you don't wanna like splurge and buy an eyeshadow primer, which I didn't really include one in this anyways, just to ensure that your eyeshadows will stay on all day, I recommend taking a little bit of your concealer and just kind of dabbing it on your eyelid before you put on your eyeshadows. So now onto eyeliner, and I really think that for a beginner, I would highly recommend a good gel eyeliner. And I don't think that you can beat the Maybelline gel eyeliner. Um, their entire range, they have several colors, but the black one is just called Black is Black, I do believe. And obviously, it's just just a black gel eyeliner. What you do with this is you take a brush and then you would put it on your eyelid and it gives you a lot of control. Um, and gel eyeliner tends to stick around a little bit longer than like a pencil formula would anyways. If you're really concerned with staying power, you can always top this off with just a matte black eyeshadow and those are really inexpensive as well. Um, just make sure you obviously top off all the extra or else you will end up looking like a raccoon. But if you simply must, and I know a lot of you teenagers love the liquid eyeliner, I know I was completely guilty there, I still love my liquid eyeliner. But if you had to get one from the drugstore, my most highly recommended one will probably be the NYX Collection Noir. And the reason I love it is because it comes with a brush tip applicator and it's very, very slim. Um, the brush tip is anyways. And it can take a little bit to get used to, but it's easy to form a nice, kind of thin, precise line with this. And you can see, I mean, it's just really dark, really black. My only problem with this is that um, this is my first one. I've opened my second one and it's not doing it as badly but the brush actually sheds, so you'd want to make sure to like get any excess bristles off of it. But this one is really good. It's the longest lasting one from the drugstore I've ever found, and I love the applicator on it a lot. Now, I don't have it on me, but if you had to choose another, I also really, really recommend Maybelline Line Stiletto. That is a phenomenal liquid eyeliner. For pencil eyeliner, I don't necessarily know if I recommend to a beginner to run out and get a black pencil eyeliner. I think that's where a lot of the big mistakes tend to come in. I know I definitely went through that at 16, but if you wanted to get something to put on your waterline, which is the inside rim of your eyes, just to make them look a little bit bigger and brighter, I really like this Rimmel London Scandalized Waterproof Cole Kajal Eyeliner in the color 005 Nude. And what this is, is just, you know, a pencil eyeliner. And I'm going to obviously put it on the back of my hand, but you're not going to be able to see it. What this does is it gives your eyes a brighter, more wide awake look. Um, and it just kind of cancels out any redness on your waterline, especially if you're just feeling tired. Sometimes your eyes can look really, really red, and this will help to kind of mask that. Mascara, I think I could make an entire video on in itself, but two of my absolute favorites from the drugstore um, that I think would work for everyone. I have ones that I actually like more than these, but I don't know if I necessarily would recommend them to anyone. But two that I obviously would are the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Lash Blast Mascara. And I always butcher the name, and I'm really proud of myself this time for not doing it. But it just has a really, you know, um, basic brush, kind of swoops in. And it's nice because you can get all of your lashes in one swoop, and it doesn't clump on you either, which is great for a beginner. But if you're someone like me who just needs a ton of volume in their mascara, you'll have to forgive mine, it's a bit dried out. But the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black is my very favorite. And get the Carbon Black because it is the blackest, blackest, blackest mascara in the history of ever. And this is a bit of a more um, traditional brush, if you will. It really just packs onto your lashes and makes them look a lot longer and thicker. And if you really, really wanted like a mind-blowing lash look, and I, you know, obviously you don't have to do this, I would recommend applying maybe one or two coats of this and then following up with a coat of this to get rid of any of the clumps. Then lastly is obviously lips, and I chose kind of one lip combo for you. Um, and, you know, you could branch out as you went. I didn't want to go crazy and include like a red and a black and I don't know, all the crazy colors you could think of. But one thing that I'm really loving right now, and I'm actually wearing this combination today, is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. And these are phenomenal because they go on really smoothly. They're actually a lip balm in this jumbo crayon form. And they're nice and pigmented, as you can tell from the swatch, but they have no noticeable shine, which means that 
it's going to last like a really really long time on your lips but because it is a balm it's not going to dry them out over that I really like pairing this lip gloss just so it doesn't look so matte and flat and this is the NYX mega shine lip gloss in the color beige and it's obviously not beige it's a really nice pink and I will just swatch that right over that lipstick although I am wearing it today um, just obviously complements lipstick really really well these colors look phenomenal together and these are really inexpensive and also super hydrating so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful if you are a makeup beginner best of luck to you and let me know if I should do kind of like a makeup you know 101 style video where I apply everything really slowly and in detail um, so that a lot of the beginners can see exactly what I'm doing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up so I do know that you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The link should be somewhere down here or over there or up here. I don't know. YouTube changes basically every day. And yeah, I will see you soon with another video and until then I will talk to you later. Bye!